Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Select Consulting Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at AWS Managed Prefix List for CloudFront. AWS recently announced the availability of this Managed Prefix List. As a result, AWS customers can now restrict inbound HTTP or HTTPS traffic to VPCs from IP addresses belonging to CloudFront servers. So the workaround to update your security groups when the CloudFront IPs change is no longer needed. So let's look on what we will do today. So at first we will take a look at what managed prefix lists are, how they can help protect your AWS infrastructure and how they work with CloudFront, application load balancers and autoscaling groups of Amazon EC2 instances and security groups. So what are AWS managed prefix lists? These lists are created and maintained by AWS and are available to anyone with an AWS account. A prefix list is a collection of one or more IP CIDR blocks used to simplify the configuration and management of VPC security groups and routing tables. Today we will focus on the recently announced CloudFront managed prefix list but as you can see there are two more for S3 and DynamoDB. And because we focus on AWS managed list with CloudFront IPs, let's have a look on it in more detail. AWS keeps this list up to date with the IP addresses of CloudFront's edge servers, so you no longer have to maintain a prefix list yourself. For example, updating your security groups by using AWS Lambda. The Amazon CloudFront Managed Prefix List weight is unique in how it affects Amazon VPC quotas. It counts as 55 rules in a security group and the default quota is 60 rules, leaving room for 5 additional rules only. And it counts as 55 rules in a root table and the default quota is 50 rules. However, you can request a quota increase and you can find the links in the description below on how to do this. So let's look on how to use the CloudFront Managed Prefix list and a simple example. Until recently when using a load balancer or similar endpoint as the origin for CloudFront distribution, you had to allow incoming HTTPS or HTTP traffic from anywhere, basically from any IP. So your infrastructure like ALBs and EC2 instances behind this application load balancer and behind CloudFront distribution were accessible for anybody and this could be abused by, for example, DDoS attack. And now you can use CloudFront Manage Prefix List in the inbound rules of your VPC security group allowing only CloudFront IP addresses to access your ALB and EC2 instances behind your CloudFront distribution. So your infrastructure will then only be accessible through this CloudFront distribution. And for our demo, it's very simple. We want to make our load balancer and EC2 instances available only through our CloudFront distribution. So let's go to AWS Management Console and look on how to add CloudFront managed prefix list to our security group. So I am in the AWS Management Console and first thing I want to do is go to EC2 and go through my current infrastructure. I already have some instances here, one application load balancer. These instances are in auto scaling group and everything is in Frankfurt region. So I will go to my instances that are already here and open one of them. 
and I will go to my public IP. And as you can see, I have a very simple example site, WordPress site here, and it, it's reachable now by going to the public IP address of my instance. And also, if I go to load balancer, it's reachable by DNS name of this application load balancer. So I also open this link and as you can see it's working everything is fine at this moment i also have my cloudfront distribution for for this site so i will go to cloudfront and i have one cloudfront distribution here so i will also open a link and it's working. The problem here is that it's reachable by this domain name and also IP address of EC2 instance and also of domain name of ALB. What I want to do is that my site will only be reachable by this domain name at this moment. So how to do this? We have AWS managed prefix list and we can use them in EC2 instance security group. So I will go back to EC2 and to my security groups. And I have security group that I use here, the web server VP and my inbound rules are visible here. I have one for HTTPS and one for HTTP. At this moment, uh, I just want to do this on HTTP. It will be basically the same for HTTPS, but it will be a little bit easier. So I will go to edit inbound rules and I can delete these two rules for now and click on add rule and here i will choose http and here for source i want to use one of the prefix lists but when you open this in browser you will see that you are not able to read the whole name of the prefix list you could just click and go through them here, but I have one way, which is, I think, better. I will open VPC in a new tab, and I will go to this tab, and here I will find managed prefix list. I will open them, and if I choose to be a little bit wider here i will just see that there is one prefix list with the name here pl a3 a144 ca which has cloudfront origin facing in the name this is the one that i want to use just one thing if you are using another region like us east what Virginia, the name here will be different. So be aware of that. If you are using another region, you will see another name here. And I can go back to EC2 again and choose my source here. And this is everything for now. I can click on save rules. At this moment, my instances or my public IP address of this instance shouldn't be reachable by just opening it in the browser. As you can see, it's loading and it will load for a lot of time and it will not work. The same will happen for load balancer. And what I want to do now is go to CloudFront and try our our domain name of CloudFront 
Okay, so I will open it in a new tab and I will try to hit it. And as you can see, it will not load. This is a problem that I have been stuck for a little while, but I have found a solution for this. So if I go to EC2, back to EC2, and go to my security groups, Okay, take a little bit of time and I will edit my inbound rules here and add another rule for HTTP, it's not a problem here and I can just choose the security group here. I think that the problem here is that my ALB is not able to communicate with EC2 instance inside the security group because it's not open for the ALB itself. My EC2 instance is not open for the ALB. So this, I think this is a solution here. If you find another, it's not a problem. I will click on save rules and go back to my CloudFront distribution and try to hit it once more. And it worked. As you can see, it's working. And my IP address of my EC2 instance is not working. This is fine. And if I just go quickly to check my load balancer, it will not work also. It will just load and load and it will take a little bit of time. Okay, so at, the, at this moment we have everything set it up for our security groups, but I just want to show you one more thing here. If you reach the quota of this security group, if you just need to create more inbound rules here, you will need to request the quota increase for this VPC and for this security groups. And how to do this? If you open quota here and it will be quota increase request and go to VPC, you will find inbound or outbound rules per security group here. And as you can see, I already requested the quota increase for 120. It actually took like 10 minutes to get this quota increase. So it's fine if you need to increase the default 60 quota here. It's, it's not a problem. It will not cost you anything or anything like that. So just do that here and it will take a little bit of time, but in a minute's way. So this is everything in AWS Management Console. I can go back to my presentation. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more like this about AWS services, subscribe to our channel. Or if you want to learn more about other AWS services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.